Hi, I'm Jennifer Crystal Chen, and I'm here with BCC Multimedia talking about how the program has changed my life. Well, where to begin? <laughs> I spent a long time basically working with different nonprofits, and then at one point I realized that in order for different nonprofits and causes to really have a lot of support, it's important to have media about them. I realized that maybe it would be a good idea to go to a place like BCC and get some fundamentals, get some basic background, and get more familiar with filmmaking. I took a couple classes with Natalie Newman, and both sort of a beginning filmmaking and a more advanced one. Basically, she went through everything. She went through sort of just, not just the basics of, you know, using the equipment, thinking about how to make a film, how to do lighting, how to do you work with the camera, doing other things, but she also really taught about how do you behave on a set, how do you work with other people professionally. So it wasn't just technical, it wasn't just about how to make something, it was really about also, you know, this is what people are expecting from you out in the professional world. I think BCC is designed to work around people who may be doing other things and can't necessarily immerse themselves in a very highly intensive program every day. And then on top of that, having to do a lot of work outside of that. So I think it's good in terms of being able to be flexible around people's schedules. Obviously, the, the downside to that is that you're not able to be immersed in something where you're basically in, either in class or lab or practice all day, and then you have to go and work on projects outside. So just the sheer amount of time that you can get is a little bit different. I program a local showcase of, of short documentary films, and I've actually seen really interesting films by people of coming from very different backgrounds. People who've gone to local schools, people who have had more professional training, people who've had graduate degrees, the whole range. And that doesn't necessarily determine what makes a film interesting. And we do that twice a year at the New Parkway Theater in Oakland. It's a really great chance to highlight the work of people who are in the Bay Area who might also not always have a chance to get their work out. So it's, really, it's been really interesting to see all the different kinds of topics and subjects and work that people have submitted. Besides some of my own projects, which I think mostly focus on giving, I would say, immigrants or people of color or people who are not in the dominant mainstream culture very much, a different voice or perspective. So I've made a few short films that basically help to bring out a different voice in those areas. And then the Black Panthers I did work on as a production manager. So that's very different. That's like behind the scenes where you're dealing with making sure everyone knows the schedule of deliverables, dealing with the finances, dealing with travel reimbursements, dealing with basically office related issues, dealing with basically some logistics and scheduling and coordination. So that really doesn't have anything to do with being either behind the camera or doing something on the shoots, but it basically helps to keep the whole production going behind the scenes. So there's a lot of roles actually that people can take on, so that was one that I did on the Black Panthers. Right now I'm actually working on a, a little bit of a different project. It's still documentary, but basically I'm making a toy recreation of a highway protest against pr police brutality. So the toys basically are going to recreate a confrontation on a highway between police and activists. And then there's also going to be some mythology and history thrown in. I want to do something that's a little more artistic and also might help people to open their minds a little if they see it on a toy scale. And there's also something about that that implies, I think, a certain amount of like, innocence and also a lot of assumptions. So I wanted to address some of those issues and other things in a, in a different way.